Hey guys, how are we? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, so I thought it was time that I just pushed out a video for you just for a little update again. Sorry, everything's just been really hectic in my personal life and work life. Um, so yeah, it's just been absolute chaos. Um, the last few weeks, but I promise to start uploading some more POVs. I've got heaps of ideas ready to go. Um, it's just finding the time to go out and shoot. I hope you like this look I've got going on here. I've actually got one of the mist filters on from Hoya. Yeah, Hoya. Um, so yeah, I've just chucked a mist filter over the top of the 16 to 35. So I really hope you like this sort of misty filter if you can even notice but yeah i thought i thought i'd just tell you that as well um but yeah i hope everyone's good um yeah so i just wanted to give you a quick little chat really um as some of you know from my instagram page or from my previous video i mentioned that i was holding a tamron uh, photo walk and neon portrait style around melbourne um i just want to say that happened it happened a couple of weeks ago and it was a huge success. I just want to say thank you to all the photographers who come to the night. Um, uh, we had 30 out of 50. Um, because of the weather, it was a bit rainy, it was a bit gloomy. I think it just put a few people off, but it was actually great for shots because we got some really nice reflections with some of those shots as well. Um, but yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to Tamron Australia for organising that and DigiDirect for sponsoring the night along with Rotto Light as well. As you know, some previous video, I've used Rotto Light as some of my key lights in my studio. They were kind enough to give us some lights for the night so we could get that neon sort of look. Um, as well. Um, so a massive thank you as well to Georgie and Becky who were the models for the night. Um, and yeah, we just had a really good turnout, um, as I just said. And it was just great to meet all you other photographers slash creatives, um, just to hang out with you, talk, talk about YouTube, talk about Instagram. Um, I was you know, giving some tips on compositions and my thoughts on compositions, uh, camera settings, just, you know, just everything that you want to learn in a sort of a night as well. Um, so yeah, it was just fantastic. It was great to put my, your faces as well to your Instagrams. Um, because there's a few of you, I've never, I've never seen your face obviously on your Instagram because you don't, you don't show it, which I really encourage people to show your face on Instagram. It really helps your brand, um, and stuff like that, which I spoke about to some of them, um, on the night. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, I just wanted to get this video, just to say thank you again to Tamron, always a massive support, um, and stuff like that as well. Um, but yeah, it was a really good night. I'll flick some pictures up on this side of the night, just from various of various photographers who sent me them in via DM. If not, head over to my Instagram page by 20th um, and you can see some of the shots that I shared on my feed um, from them as well. Um, as well, um, I just want to do a bit of a Q&A on here as well um, because I had a few, so I just got my phone here now, a few questions that I had. I put it on my Instagram stories and I thought I'd just add it into this video from that night as well. Um, and also I'll probably turn this into a reel as well. So, you know, content two for one. Um, so this from Epic Vibe, loving the vibe of your account, keep creating heart. Thank you, mate. I really appreciate that. Um, it's you know obviously starting a new account it, it can be a bit a bit annoying but it is what it is um and a little update i've completely lost my account shots by 20th gone as you know there's no help i tried to like message on the help thing but just no response i just don't think they can help with that i don't, I don't know um so yeah i've lost that so i've been building that page up now really well um if you've been following me on instagram i've been doing um a reel a day for march just to test um the reach and i'm pretty blown by the results um if you want me to go through that as well in another video um in april i can do that um cc street shots how are you big wave I'm really well, thank you. Um, as I just said, life has just been hectic. Being a dad, um, starting my new job. Um, my parents are here at the moment. Um, they just met their grandson for the first time in two years um, because of COVID and just life in general. Um, so yeah, that was really, uh, that was a bit of a moment for me. Very special for them to meet their grandson. Um, so yeah, for, yeah, I'm, I'm doing really well. Just, I'm just trying to be more active. I'm trying to look after my health more. I'm currently on a bit of a weight loss journey. Um, 
from my injury that I suffered probably it's in a year and a half ago now. I gained a lot of weight after my um, after I broke my back. Um, so I'm just trying to sort my health out. I'm trying to get my anxiety under control. It's been a bit up and down as well, my anxiety. I think as well, because I haven't, I haven't been out to create POVs. I haven't been out to shoot a lot of photos as well. So I'll do my best to try and get out and, and take some more photos, which I need to do because it helps this and it helps this tick. Oh, look at my hair. My hair's a fucking mess. I need to get a haircut as well. I need a beard shape. Um, plans for YouTube. Um, so plans for YouTube are keep creating POVs, um, keep do, try and do more of these sort of headshots, getting used to the camera, trying to get my setup perfect you know what i mean like with sound um because this room this is why i wear the dji mics because i try and isolate the sound of my voice to this because if i didn't have it the the sound in here would be terrible and again just that's just from learning from my mistakes with the channel um keep growing the channel um i'm sitting you know a really nice subscribe and i really want to say thank you to that get the channel monetized so obviously i need to keep loading more videos um, and hopefully get the channel monetized so i can start earning some money as well um, what else uh, work with some more brands like tamron again keep working with tamron keep working with fujifilm um and yeah just any other brands that are watching this i'd love to connect with you and and hopefully work as well um what is your current setup? Seen Fujifilm and Sony? Yes, so um, I am on Sony. Um, as as I, I don't know, I will be doing a video. I've just upgraded to the A7IV. This is why I can see myself now. As you know, in the previous video, and if you see my reels on Instagram, I got really excited about the flip screen. Um, so it's just nice to to see to see your lovely face in here. Um, and it's 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 literally half the time now for me to set up. Because previously I couldn't see myself, then I'd hit record, stop. Yeah. Anyway, so I've upgraded to the A7IV. I've got um, the 16 to 35 G Master on here, f2.8. Um, I've got the Samyang Mark 1 85mm 1.4. Um, then obviously I have access to the Tamron lenses from the Tamron team. So any Tamron lens I want, I can just give them a call and say, Hey, have you got that lens in stock? And then I'll go out and create content on it. So that's my current sort of setup. Fujifilm. Um, yes, as you saw, I had, um, a couple of the, I uh, had the T3 that was provided to me from Tamron. Then Fujifilm obviously saw that video, reached out to me. Then I used the X-H2 um where i did some unboxing stuff and excuse me and some stuff like that um so yeah i'll be hopefully working with fujifilm again in the future they're just waiting for some of their cameras to get back in the warehouse so then obviously they can send it out to me so i can use them and use some of their prime lenses as well i've got a bit of a uh, sort of a deal with fujifilm and tamron in in terms of using fuji tamron lenses with the fuji body if that makes sense so yeah stay tuned for that so hopefully in the future can can do that um next question crispy r lumex s52 or sony a73 for photo plus video value for money and performance crispy thank you for the question um i don't know much about the s52 apart from watching chris howard's videos on them um, and various other YouTubers um, who have been using the Lumex. I'd love to try one myself because obviously I've heard the video and the and the tracking and the focus is like crazy. Um, but again, I'm not a big tech savvy person. I know the basics. Um, as I said in previous, previous videos, I try and keep my videos very basic in terms of gear. Um, but for me, I'm gonna say Sony a7 III. Um, it, it, again, Crispy, it all depends on your um, budget and what you want to spend on a camera and a lens. Um, obviously, I was very uh, very lucky that I could upgrade my camera because I got a fantastic trade-in for my a7 III. Um, so yeah, my a7 III is gone. I traded it in, then I got the a7 IV, which I'm freaking stoked with. Such a, This camera, I'm, I've not even used it that much yet, so I can't wait to get out and, and use it. Sorry, Mr. Tamron, photo walk, will you do more? Yes, um, I've been in talks with Tamron uh, two days after, uh, literally the day after and then a couple of days after, I had a meeting with them on the Monday or the Tuesday. Um, we're gonna try and nut out a plan for different Tamron photo walks, um, but also 
if you're from Melbourne, I might even do a sort of in-studio presentation as well for photography and just talk about my journey and, and stuff like that. Um, what, what else is there? So yeah, that's that. So yeah, just my brain at the moment ticking. Are you a barber? Question, question. Um, yes, I am. I'm actually a part-time barber. I just completed uh, my barbering course um, with King's Domain in Melbourne. Um, I'm currently working out of St. Domain, Melbourne. Um, I just started there uh, five weeks ago with Adrian, um, who's the owner of the barbershop, and it is going absolutely fantastic. I love the vibe. I love the fact that I can create now in, head, um, in hairdressing slash barbering. Um, the reason for this is, um, I can't really say too much but because of other stuff that's going on in the background, but basically I was involved in a construction accident where I broke my back and I fell 2.4 meters off a ladder. If you know from, if you've been following me from the start, you would have seen in my Instagram, the story of me, yeah, break, obviously me breaking my back, which gained, obviously I gained quite a bit of weight and lost my confidence and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, um, long story short, my, my physiotherapist said that I won't be able to go back to that job because my body won't be able to cope um, with the overload. Um, so I always wanted to be a barber slash hairdresser when I was about 15. Um, it all stems from, because my mum was a hairdresser and she used to cut my hair. Um, so it was just a case of it just aligned. And when my grandma was sick uh, with dementia, she used to say to me, um, I think you need to be a barber. So um, I followed. I followed that sort of. When she passed away, I just even before that, I decided that I wanted to be a barber. Um, and yeah, so I'm a barber. Yeah, so I'm a part-time barber, part-time YouTube. Um, so, but going forward, I'll probably be good doing more, more barbering, and hopefully keep growing um, this YouTube channel as well. Because this YouTube channel really helps my creative outlet as well. I'm really enjoying creating these videos as well, um, editing them and all that sort of stuff. And I love doing POVs and just showing um, beginner photographers that it can be done. You just pick up a camera and, and go and shoot. So yeah, I'm a barber. So yeah, go check out um, Saint Domain, um, Melbourne, and you'll see what's going on there. Uh, what's the other questions? Sorry. Um, what genre genres? Of photography interests you well at the moment um mainly uh, car photography at the moment is a massive one for me at the moment i'm really enjoying car photography as you've probably seen on my my page um i've been going to quite a few car uh, car meetups around melbourne um, and then i went to the biggest one um, called black label international it's one of the biggest events in melbourne once a year um, and I saw that as a great opportunity just to go down there, but also just to network with other people um, and obviously take photos. And obviously I saw a lot of uh, Melbourne photographers there that who I knew of and they knew of me. So that was just great to obviously chat with them. Um, and obviously street photography. I love street photography because you're just catching those moments of people. Um, it's not always people, as you know, I love taking pictures of trams, buildings, um, but yeah, street photography as well, just with people in general, like, just their moments um, and what else I do and as you, as you know I love a cheeky self-portrait um, or Richie Rich would take some portraits of me and I'll take some of him um, so I really love doing that and definitely portrait photography um, with a model I'm really um, enjoying that just just to see uh, my way of how I see things and that's what I was trying to explain on the Tamron photo walk because they were saying to me like how do you do this how do you do that I'm like it's, it's just what I see it's when I see an angle, I take it. So for me, I'll talk about that in another video, but composition, I just think there's no right or wrong with it. But if I'm wrong, comment below. Um, but what, yeah, so what else we got? How are you? Yeah, as I said, I've got quite a few of them. Um, what's this one? Tamron. What? Um, so what is the go with you and Tamron as I see you posting a lot for Tamron? Um, so basically at the moment with Tamron Australia, I get access to their lenses. Uh, the team there, um, obviously ages ago saw my photos and my video, I started doing videos. Um, and yeah, we just had a chat and the deal is I just use their gear and I create videos for them moving forward. Um, I don't know. Um, I need to have a chat with them to see what we do next. Um, but Tamron have just been fantastic for me and this channel. I actually don't have any Tamron lenses with me at the moment. I've given them all back. 
Um, so I, the only lenses I've got is this G Master and the 85, which I still love, but I'd like to get Mark II of that as well. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with Tamron um, at the moment. I just basically, I can go in, grab a lens and go out and shoot content for them. I hope you've enjoyed it if you're still watching. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update about the Tamron Photo Walk, that it went really well. Will I be doing more? Yes. Um, was I nervous? Yes, because not like a YouTube video, you can't just stop, then hit record and start talking again. So I was a bit nervous when I first died, but after a while, it was really, really well. So yeah, I will be doing more of them, and I promise that I'll be pumping out more YouTube videos. My goal is to do one a week. My initial goal at the start of the year was two a week, but because everything's just been crazy, um, that kind of went backfired um but yeah all good anyway just i want to put in the one final plug remember to hit that like button subscribe button and um i'll see you in the next one bye